And we are back on the WHHI TV Daily News. With me now is Megan Bust, and she is with CAPA, which is the Child Abuse Prevention Association. Thank you for being here again. Thanks for having me yes, back. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. So last time we uh, you were here, we were talking about really that there's a huge need for families that are willing to take in children that have you know, unfortunately been abused and need placement. And so you wanted to share some numbers with us, which are pretty large numbers. Big, especially yes. as we approach the end of the year this year. Um, so far, as of this morning, we've had over 6,000 requests for placements from all over the state for beds for kids. And you think the holidays are coming on. These are kids that, you know, in the really vulnerable time of year that are needing right. um, foster homes. Yes, yes, absolutely. And so that's a pretty big number. We currently have 20 foster parents, um, and we are in the process of licensing nine more, um, but we are in desperate need of more foster parents throughout our state, throughout our program. Um, it is such a big need in the state of South Carolina right yeah. now. Well, so talk to us a little bit. I know you shared last time you were here this information as well, but share with us again, if somebody is, is watching and says, you know, I want a child to have a, a, a bed for Christmas or, you know, whatever, how can they get involved? Absolutely. So we, our program at CAPA licenses foster parents, and then we provide support once you are licensed which would mean placing the child in your home, supporting you with any behaviors that come up, school enrollment, IEPs. We look at the whole scope of what the child needs, doctor's appointments. Um, so we are there to hold your hand through the entire process. Um, we currently um, will, are open to families of all shape and, shapes and sizes. We just need homes that want to welcome safe environments yeah. that are open to trauma behaviors, which can sound a whole lot scarier than it is. If you think about it, we all have had behaviors. And if all everything that in, anybody has ever done was written down on a piece of paper, it could look kind of scary. Right. Um, but a lot of these kids are kids that just need love. And once they are in that secure, safe, structured environment, they start to thrive. And it is such a big reward um, as a foster parent, as a caseworker, to watch yeah. that transition. Absolutely. And um, so if you are willing to provide that bed of a safe home, even if it's temporary, we need families that are willing to even take kids overnight just for a few days until a long-term placement is available. Okay. So you don't have to be in this for months and years at a time. This yeah. can be something that's temporary. We also need families that are willing to provide respite. So when foster families need to go on vacation or they need a break, just like you and I would ever need a break, you sure. know, um, we need families that are willing to take kids in for a week or so while those foster parents get a break um, and are able to go on vacation and relax and know that those kids are in a safe environment as yeah, well. Yeah, so very interesting. All kinds of different ways that people can help. You did mention, and we've got about a minute and a half left, but you did mention Christmas is coming. Yes. And so you have a Christmas wish program. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, we have just begun our annual Christmas wish program. Um, we have a bunch of angel trees set up with within Hilton Head and Bluffton, um, downtown Delhi, the hair designers, the village of in the village of Wexford, Howell Chase, Keller Williams, Christian Renewal Church. Um, if you want to go grab a wish, we would be more than appreciative. Yeah. This is an often a chance for kiddos to experience their first Christmas. Yeah. Um, we get to I get to FaceTime a lot of these families as these kiddos that your donations are going to are opening these gifts. Um, and it is just so rewarding to see their excitement. Um, their excitement experiencing the holidays for the first time. This could be the magic of meeting Santa Claus, right. eating a warm Christmas meal, yeah. holiday meal, yeah. spending time with a big family, um, going to spend and do holiday crafts, um, decorate a Christmas tree, right. light a menorah um, as a group with a support system around them. So there is so much magic and reward that these families get um, from this experience. Absolutely, and I mean, just to hear you talk about it, it's like, wow, I'd really love to see those those reactions. Yeah. So if somebody is interested in either, you mentioned the place where Christmas wish uh, angel trees are, but how does somebody get a hold of you for the other volunteering uh, opportunities? Absolutely, for kids at, um, for CAPA Foster Care Program, if you want to email kids at kappabufort.org, or you can call um, our office at 843 843- 524-4350 and then we will let you know we'll get you started if you have more questions we are more than happy to talk you through any questions you might have concerns um, and we would love to be there to support support you <laughs> well Megan thank you so much for being here again to share about this amazing program and thank for you. everything you're doing in the community we really appreciate it thank you and thank you to everyone else on the show today for their insights and contributions 
Science. As always, our production team is behind the scenes to make all of this possible. And of course, we are honored that you have chosen to share part of your day with us. I'm Betsy McDaniel, and we'll see you for the next WHHI-TV Daily News.